welcome to Living Springs. We're so happy to have you here. Here are your announcements. Evening service every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Overflow Youth, Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Intercessory Prayer, every Monday and Wednesday, 6 p.m. Adult Sunday School, every Sunday morning, 9.30 a.m. Women of Strength, February 10th through the 11th. Men's Ministry Breakfast, Denny's, February the 11th. Guest Speaker, February the 12th, Gideon's International. We're so glad to have you here. Enjoy service. Well, let's not get all carried away here. I'm the same guy who's here every Sunday. <laughs> Talking to you about the same things. I was standing back there thinking, and as I've told you before, that's, that's a danger for me. Um, but I got this. I was thinking, have you read the offering envelopes lately? No, they haven't changed. Still says, still says the same thing on each and every one. Malachi 3.10. The Lord says to give and, and see if I won't repay. And that's basically the way he says it. See if I won't. It's, it's like he's daring you. The Lord is daring you to step out in faith and to make that offering but there's another character in this he's telling you you can't afford it you need that money for something else don't do it calamity will follow if you put in an offering that's what he's telling you but the bible also says he's a liar Because he wants to steal the blessing that the Lord says you'll receive if you're obedient to him. He will make good on his word. He says that if you give, you shall receive. And it'll come in multiples, 30, 60, 100 when you do what he asks you to do. And don't worry about it. Jesus said it on the mount. Don't worry about it. He'll take care of you if you'll do as he asks. Amen? So let's remember that as we prepare our offering. And just remember, the devil's a liar. Jesus said that he will make it right He'll make you whole if you sacrifice. He'll make you whole. And he'll do so in an astounding way that you wouldn't have believed would happen. Amen? Father, we thank you for your word and the encouragement and the confidence that it gives us when it comes to doing as you ask. Help us to have faith. Help us to act on that faith and to be a blessing to this church that it might through your generosity, give us the, the means by which we do the things that you've asked us to do. Bless these people for their faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 This world is not my home. I am just passing through. Earthly treasures will fade, but I find my 
you, but I'm excited about being in church this morning. Can somebody give me a shout of praise? Amen. Are there some Pentecostals in the house this morning? Yes, and amen. You know, God wants us to get energized by His presence. Amen. He wants us to come alive a little bit, feel that goodness of Him every single day. I come to church because I want to feel the goodness of God. How about you this morning? Yes, and amen. Hallelujah. You know, we live in a great covenant, the new covenant in Christ. Come on. Might just preach another message this morning, brother. I don't know. But this new covenant says that you're not bound by law. You're not bound by religion. Amen. you got a friend that sits closer than a brother who says, come closer to me because I have made the way. A little bit hot on the mic. Thank you, sir. I have made the way by tearing the veil from top to bottom. He didn't leave not one stitch connected. You understand this morning? Everything was completed in the covenant that he chose for you. That sinless life, that life, amen, of glory was lived for you. So today, in this moment, we can experience his presence and his newness of life in us. Yes, and amen this morning for the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Today we have a blessing with us. We're going to be... Uh, translating in Spanish again today, and our brother Adam is going to help us. Can we give Adam a great hand this morning? <laughs> great word this morning, brother, praying over the, the board. I appreciate that. And if you ever have anybody in need that you know, please add their name to that board because there's power in, in preaching and praying. I believe that God uses things like that, amen, to shape and change a church. Amen. amen. God wants to come and create culture here that's different then you can find out there in the world. Amen? Amen. But if we come to church and we're acting like that, what change is there? There's none. <laughs> Amen? This is a different life, amen, in Christ. Amen. This is the 180, hallelujah, in Jesus. Come on. Amen. We're not going that way anymore. We're going this way because God's saying, come follow me, hallelujah. And if you'll pick up your cross, I promise you, every day, God will bless your life. It's the greatest scariest thing you've ever done but if you'll follow jesus man it has some stories to tell don't it brother yes it does hallelujah <laughs> thank you jesus today we're going to be talking a little bit about this process of life Vamos a hablando del proceso de la vida. and our keynote verse is first corinthians 13 13 and nuestro verso principal is primero corintios 13 13 and now abide faith get this catch this hope Love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Y ahora permanecen la fe, la esperanza, el amor, esos tres, pero el mayor de ellos es el amor. Let's pray together this morning. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for the, for the words of life. Gracias, Señor. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your goodness, grace, mercy, and love. We thank you, God, for your presence leading us as we abide in your word, as we stand upon your truth, and as we speak life into all creation. 
la vida en todo criaturas aquí. By the power of your spirit. Por el poder de tu espíritu. Create in us. Cree en nosotros. A new spirit. Un espíritu nuevo. Full of new wine. Lleno de vino. Fresh oil. Aceite fresca. In Jesus' name I pray. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to yes, God. Yes, amen. <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> yes. Well, maybe. You Spanish me English. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got you up here, baby. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're connecting this way, right? Because God, God chooses this, amen. right? The Tower of Babel wasn't by accident, right? When that occurred in the earth, it built a framework for us to have to learn to communicate. When things become too easy, come on, preach a little bit. Teach, do a little teaching. When things become too easy, right, in our lives, we start to drift away from the things of God. Righteousness will always pull us to right things. Well, right things can only be found in one place, and that's in Jesus. Anything outside of that is sin nature. He blessed Esau and Jacob. God blessed Esau and Jacob. Amen? Amen. But the one thing about Esau that, that challenged him, the reason that God ended up hating Esau, was because he gave him a very long leash. Everything that Esau came to do, he did on his own proper he came just to do what he, he had wealth, he had finances, he had money, he had power, he had authority, he had all those things. And he positioned himself in those things. The one thing that Esau forgot was to position himself in the giver of all life. And when we give ourselves away to the things of the world, that's exactly what we're choosing to do. See, sometimes we're the Samaritans. Sometimes we're the Pharisees. How can that preacher be preaching that message that hurts my feelings? Hmm? How, can, how can we just do all these things this pastor's been asking us to do? I'm not a missionary. Huh? Sometimes we're the holier than thou. When the Holy Spirit starts to come into a room and we just want to sit still because we're under so much conviction for all the things in our heart that we know are wrong. But the reason that God loved Jacob was because of all the hard things he had to go through. You understand? It's the ones who walk through the fire that God loves the most. And if you're not walking through some challenges in your life today, you had better start praying a little bit. The circumstances of this life will not crush you. I promise they will not crush you. But they will refine you. They will give you an understanding of what hope and truth actually is. And it's found only in, say it with me, Jesus. Ooh, that's faith, isn't it? Thank you, God. Faith. Let's begin with faith this morning. Empezamos con fe. Life is a dangerous place at times. La vida es un lugar peligroso a veces. Listen, but so worth the living. Pero vale la pena vivirlo. Our perspective today is to build a confidence not only in ourselves, but also for the will of God for our lives. Nuestra perspectiva hoy es construir una confianza no solo en nosotros mismos, sino también en la voluntad de Dios para nuestras vidas. Today we'll explore some pitfalls. Exploraremos algunas trampas de esta vida. Of this life. En esta vida. And work on our perspective. Y trabajamos nuestra perspectiva de cómo vivir. How, of how to live and not fail. Cómo vivir y no fallar. That's good, right? Es bueno, ¿verdad? You want to live, amen? Quieres vivir, ¿verdad? Amen, not fail. No quieres fallar, ¿verdad? Amen. Amen. I was encouraging somebody this morning that God does not send us to fail. Amen. Amen. God does not send you to fail. Dios no te manda para fallar. He does not send you to this church so you can come and be discouraged. No te manda aquí para ser um, destruido. He does not send you to this place so you can find failure. No te manda aquí en no. este lugar para fallar. He sends you here 
Él te manda aquí so you can find life. Para bus a buscar vida. So you can understand truth. Para poder entender verdad. So we can live. Para que podemos vivir. Genesis 47:15 says this. En Genesis 47:15. So when the money failed in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, cuando faltó el dinero en la tierra de Egipto y en la tierra de Canaan, all the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, "Give us bread." Todos los egipcios vinieron a José y le dijeron, "Damos pan." For why should we die in your presence? Por por qué por qué hemos de morir en tu presencia? For the money had failed. Porque el dinero ha fallado. Today you may be walking through some failing money situation. Hoy puedes estar caminando en dinero que ya ya te falló. But I'm here to tell you today. Pero estamos aquí a decirte. That just as God. Como Dios. Was using Joseph. Usando José. He will use Jesus. Él va a usar Jesús. To rescue you. Para rescue. From yourself. De usted mismo. And your self-destructive ways. En tú mismo. He will rescue you. Él te res from, from your lack of knowledge. De no tener inteligencia. From de your él. lack of wisdom. Amen. Man. <laughs> he will rescue you. Él te rescutarte. Because he's the God who rescues. Amen. Amen. But first, we must be prepared. Amen. Our first rule of thumb on, for life on earth is preparation. La primera regla general para la vida en la tierra es la preparación. How does preparation help us to live our best life in Christ? ¿Cómo nos ayuda la preparación a vivir nuestra mejor vida en Cristo? Step one. Paso uno. Love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, and spirit. Ama el Señor con todo tu corazón, alma, mente, y espíritu. The heart is the place of Christ conditioning us. El lugar del corazón es el lugar de Jesús. The soul is the one connecting to the Father person to person. El alma lo da conexión con gente a gente. The mind is the battleground upon which we must fight our good fight of faith. El mente es donde estamos peleando en el, en la batalla. Engaging with the Holy Spirit to do all of these things. Con el Espíritu Santo para hacer todas esas cosas. We find life. Buscamos vida. Without having Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the rest of the plan does not work. Si no tienes Jesús, todo el plan no se va a trabajar. Amen. All things flow from the Father above. Amen. Todo fluye del Señor arriba. Say all things with me this morning. Todas las cosas. All things. Todas las cosas. Every single thing you need. Todo que tú necesitas. Flows from the Father above. Flue con el Padre arriba. Why would we want to disconnect from that? Por qué queremos no hacer conexión con eso? Why would we want to turn that switch to off? Por qué lo quiere queremos pagar eso? Every time that we start to communicate in the flesh. Siempre cuando estamos hablando con el nuestro carne. Speak those words we know we're not supposed to speak. Come on, you know who en you are. Cosas, los palabras que no debe hablar. Every time we get into our emotions. En, en... Yeah. Those things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we find ourselves starting to disconnect. Encontramos, uh, de desconectar con Jesús. And there's an enemy Hay un enemigo waiting esperando. for you to do that. See, the devil doesn't come to us when we're strong and connected in God. He comes when we're starting to disconnect from God. The message today is one of faith. Because faith puts us in connection or relationship with the Father. That's what faith does. That's its working elements. That's what it does. It connects Why would we want to walk in faith every single day of our lives? Amen. You see, you can't move mountains. But God can. You see, you don't have the power to part seas. But God can. 
You see, you don't have the power to rescue yourself from death, hell, and the grave. No tienes poder para rescatarte de muerte. But God does. Pero Dios sí. He is our life connection. Él es la vida de conexión. It's by grace through, say it with me, faith. Gracias con fe. Amen. That we connect to God through Christ. Que estamos conectados con Dios. Why would we, would we ever want to shut that off? ¿Y por qué queremos apagar eso? All things flow from the Father above. Todo fluye con el Dios, el Dios arriba. Having Christ in our lives brings us to into the ultimate plan Tener for His Cristo creation. En nuestra vida. Having Christ in our lives brings us into the oh. ultimate plan for God and His creation. Si tener a Jesús como tu Señor y Salvador, el resto del plan no funciona. Loving God will always produce. Listen to this. Listen to this. Loving God. Amar a Dios. Will always produce. Siempre produciría. A good result. Un buen resultado. In your life. En tu vida. Let me say that one more time so you can write that down. Loving God Amar a Dios will always produce siempre a good result un buen resultado in your life. En tu vida. It may not be the result you wanted, a veces no es que el resultado que tú quieres, but it will be the best result. Pero va a ser el más mejor resultado. There are things that happen in our life Hay cosas que pasan en nuestra vida that we can't predict. Que no podemos haber. But God sees the forecoming. Pero Dios ya, ya miré. He sees the path el mire el that we're walking out. Que estamos caminando. Hey Frank, I love you, man. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> And he knows how to prepare us el sabe como, uh, per, 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 uh, per, 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 by vosotros. faith. By faith. Con by fe. faith. Thank you, Frank. He knows how to lead us. Él sabe cómo aliar, li, uh, lead. By faith. Con fe. It's by faith. Es con fe. Not in you, amen. No, no in, en nuestro tuyo. Not in your wisdom knowledge. No en tuyo. Not in your strength. No en tu fuerzas. But in faith. Pero con fe. See, faith is power. Fe es poder. Real power. Yes. Poder real. Now, my son lifts weights. Mi hijo se levanta pesas. He's on the powerlifting team. And he loves to do that. Él gusta hacer eso. Because he's good at it. Porque está bien hacerlo. My prayer for him, though, Mi oración para él es, is that it wouldn't go to his head. Que no se va aquí en, en su cabeza. Because the greatest of strength is always found. Porque el más mejor fuerzas a buscar as Jesus gives it to us. Es cuando Jesús lo da a nosotros. By faith. Con fe. You have to believe, church. Tenemos que creer. You have to believe in God's. Tienes que creer en Dios. God's abilities. Tienes que creer que God's puede ser strength. Dios. God's La strength. Fuerza de Dios. God's, God's power. Dios poder. And in God's love. En el amar de Dios. Listen to this. So many Christians believe in our Savior. But they do not like to follow his ways. Muchos cristianos creen en nuestro Salvador, pero no les gusta seguir su camino. A young David had something to say about God's ways. En un joven David tenía algo que decir. First Samuel chapter 17 verse 32 says this. Primero Samuel 17, 32. Then David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Entonces dijo David a Saúl, no desmaye el, coraz el corazón de ninguno a causa de él. Tu siervo uh, irá y pelear yes. contra estas filisteos. David took a stance that was different than all others on the hill that day. David tomó una postura que era diferente a todos los demás en es esa colina ese día. Many times loving God takes courage. Muchas veces amar a Dios requerir coraje. It takes godly courage. Se necesita un coraje divino. To believe and have faith. Para creer y tener fe. The other Jewish shoulders, sho soldiers on the hill that day had been trained to be a good soldier. Listen to this. Los otros soldados judíos en la colina ese día habían sido entrenados para ser buenos soldados. They had been preparing to do something great that day. 
habían estado esperando para hacer algo grandioso ese día. But they lacked one thing to accomplish their mission on the hill that day. Que les faltaba para cumplir su misión. The answer that they lacked was faith. La respuesta es fe. Faith is the only thing that has the power, amen, la fe to es, move mountains. La fe es lo único que tiene el poder de mover montaña. Faith is the only thing, amen, that can still kill a Philistine. El fe es el único poder que puede matar un filisteo. Faith is the only thing still, amen, that can cure cancer. Amen. El fe es la única cosa que puede curar a cáncer. Faith is still the only thing, amen, that can raise you up out of your mire of life and give you something you didn't have. Amen. Amen. Faith is the one thing, amen, that compels us to lead others towards Jesus. El, el fe es algo que uh, hacer para uh, caminar con Dios. We must walk in faith. Amen. Tenemos que caminar en fe. Say, walk, say it with me. Walk in faith. Caminar Amen. In fe. You can have all of the best training from the best schools, but still lack the most essential element that truly changes the course of history. Puedes tener todo el mejor entrenamiento de los, las mejores escuelas, pero aún carecer del elemento más esencial que realmente cambia el curso de la historia. Faith. Fe. Faith. Fe. David was prepared that day. De David estaba preparado ese día. Not just because he had slain the lion and the bear. Además de haber matado al león y el, al oso. Not because he just had a sling and five stones. Además de tener una onda y cinco piernas. Now some of you guys out there might have a really nice sling and a couple of good stones in your pocket today. Hay unos que tienen una onda y uno, un, unos piernas aquí en tu bolsa. But that doesn't complete the mission for your life. Eso no cumplir la misión de tu vida. You must be full of confidence. Tienes que estar lleno de confianza. And full of faith in God. And tener fe en Dios. David had faith. David tenía fe. He had both. Él tenía dos. Courage. Era bravo. And faith. Y fe. Courage. Bravo. And faith. Y fe. Today. Hoy. Do you have courage? Tú, tú es bravo. To face your giants. Para mirar tus gigantes. And do you have faith to believe? Y si tienes fe para creer. That when you sling your stone, tires tu, lo, los piernas, that God will let it hit the mark, que Dios lo va a pegar allí, so that you can have the victory. Para tener victoria. Amen. Amen. Faith and courage are essential in life today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Faith is the first key element of the process of God to thrive on this planet and the one to come. La fe es el primer elemento clave de proceso en Dios y el, y el proceso para prosperar en este planeta y en el ven, venedero. Mark 11, 23, 24 says this to us. Marcos 11, 23, 24 dice, For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, ¿Por, ¿por qué es cierto os digo cualquiera que deje de a este monte be removed and be cast into the sea Quítate y échate en el mar, and does not doubt in his heart y no en su corazón, but believes that those things he says will be done sino cree que lo que dice se hará, he will have whatever he says. Tendrá lo que diga. Therefore I say to you Por eso os digo que todo, whatever things you ask when you pray lo que pides orando, believe that you receive them cree que lo recibirás, and you will have them y lo tendrás. faith in Christ still moves mountains La fe en Cristo todavía mueve montañas. but you must not be afraid to speak to the mountain in your life Pero no debes tener miedo de hablar a la montaña en tu vida. faith speaks La fe habla. Faith speaks. La fe habla. Faith speaks. La fe habla. We're going to take a moment here and we're going to speak to those mountains in our life.
Vamos tomar un momento y hablar a esas montañas. So in the name of Jesus, whatever it is en el nombre de Jesús, that you are facing, que tú estás peleando, I want you to start speaking. Te quiero que a pensar a hablar, speaking faith, amen, that God hablando fe, would move your mountain que Dios lo mueve en montaña, in the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Let's speak to that mountain right now, whatever it may be. Hablamos a esa montaña. Speak it out this morning. Come on, speak. Habla. Speak to your mountain. Habla a tu be montaña. courageous. Habla a tu Have montaña. faith. Ten fe. Let your heart not wane. Let your heart not fail. Yes, Lord Jesus. Have courage this morning to speak Habla. to the hard things. Las cosas duras. Speak this morning to your mountain. Habla a tu montaña. And believe that God can move it for you. Whatever it may be, God knows your answer. Believe this morning as you speak in faith. Hallelujah. We're going to do that at the end of service again too. David was on par with God that, that faithful day to do great things. David estaba a la par con Dios ese día fiel para hacer grandes cosas. It wasn't because of his great training or education. No por su entrenamiento o edu educación. But he was unafraid. Sino porque no tenía miedo. To speak to his mountain. De hablar a su montaña. David said. De David dijo. I come in the name of the Lord of hosts. Vengo a ti en el nombre de Jehová. The God whom thou hast defied. De los ejercitos. The mountain Goliath el Dios a quien tú didn't stand a, did not stand a chance. La montaña Goliath no tuvo ninguna posibilidad. Listen to me this morning. Escúchame esta mañana. No matter how much your mountain screams at you, que, por mucho que tu montaña te grite, no matter how much your mountain makes you feel little, te hagas sentir pequeño, your God Tu Dios will make your mountain bow down de bloquee at, a your, pies. at your feet, amen. A tus pies. That's a shouting moment, amen. amen. Because your God tu Dios will make your mountain bow down to your feet a tus pies. but you must believe Pero que creer. you must have courage que estar bravo. and you must have faith your God is for you, not against you this morning. He knows how to make you walk a little bit taller this morning. Amen. He knows how to put some pep in your step this morning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Take your eyes off of your circumstances. Amen. And fix them on Jesus. He's your answer. He's your reliable answer. Nothing outside of him, amen, Nada afuera de él can work like he does. Puede trabajar como él. Nothing outside of Jesus Nada afuera de Jesús can change your life like he does. Puede cambiar tu vida como él. Nothing outside of him Nada afuera de él can build up your most holy faith. Que puede hacer tu fe más grande. Except Jesus. Excepto Jesús. Amen. amen. The rock of our salvation is Amen. speaking to us today. Amen. He is here to manifest himself in great power. Está aquí hoy. He's here to manifest himself in great glory. Está aquí para, uh, su gloria. But if the, the people don't believe, Pero si la gente no creen, he'll just simply wait él nomás se va a esperar until you do. Hasta que if you want to see change in the atmosphere, si you got to have faith for change in the atmosphere. If you want to see your home life change, amen. Tu cosas, uh, you got to have faith for your home life to change, que tener amen. Fe. Que tener fe. If you want to see things change at work, ver cosas en you, you got to have faith, tienes amen. Que tener fe. Tienes que tener fe. You got to believe for change. Tienes que creer en cambio. Or God will just simply wait. Or Dios Faith Fe is the one thing la una cosa that God responds to. Que Dios he, de, he loves you él te ama, and you can be the most well-dressed guy in the whole place. Ser el más 
buen vestido. You can be the prettiest girl walking in the room. Puede ser la más bonita. But unless you have faith, pero si no tienes fe, that's all you'll ever be. Es todo que va a ser. Huh? 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 It wasn't David's training. No era el estu uh, Although he was a, although he was a, although he was a good teacher. Pero si era bien, uh, he was a good shepherd. El, yeah. He was a good brother. Está bien, bien hermano. It was faith. Pero era fe that won the day. Que ganó ese día. And moved the mountain. Que moví los montañas. Amen and amen. Amen. With faith in Christ, all things are possible. Con fe en Cristo, todo es posible. Mark 9.23 says this to us. Marcos 9, 23 dice, Jesus said to him, if you can believe, Jesús lo dijo, si puedes creer, all things, al que cree todo, all things, al que cree todo, one more time, all things, al que cree todo, are possible, lo, le es posible, to him who believes, en el que cree. Let's do this. If you can believe, say this with me. If you can believe, si tú puedes creer, all things al que cree todo, are possible, lo es posible for me, pa, pa mí, who believes. Que cree. One more time. If I can believe, si puedes creer, all things al que cree todo, are possible, lo es posible for I who can believe. Pa mí que puede creer. Believe in Jesus. Matthew 19, 29 says this. Mateo 19, 29 dice, But Jesus looked at them and said to them, Pero Jesús los, los dijo, With men this is impossible. Para los hombres, este es imposible. But with God, Pero para Dios, all things are possible. Todas las cosas son posibles. Too many of you Hay mucho ustedes have put your trust in men. Que pone tu, uh, tu fe en hombre. You have more faith in your job. Pero tienes más fe en tu trabajo. You have more faith in the money. Tienes más fe en el dinero. You have more faith in your family. Tienes más fe en tu familia. Than you do in your Savior. Que tienes en Jesús. Our Savior. El Salvador. Is still our Savior. Todavía es el Salvador. He is the lover of our soul. Él es el amor de nuestra alma. He is engaged to us. Él está Aquí. No matter how much, no matter how much we don't want to be engaged to Him, Amen. He will never stop loving us. Él nunca va a parar de amar he will never stop loving you. Nunca va a parar de amar a ti. Ever. Nunca. Believe in Him today for that. If there's, if, if there's one reason, believe in Him for that reason. Cree en él por esa razón. For God to so love the world. Pues Dios amó la vida, that, la, means, el mundo. that means you. Usted. He gave his only son. Lo di su único hijo. For love. Por amor. For love. Por amor. Valentine's Day is coming up very soon. <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to talk about that amor a little more. Amen. Vamos a hablar de más de amor. Faith, hope, and Faith. love. Amen. Yeah, more. Jesus still speaks to us, resoundingly says, Jesus todavía nos habla y nos dice, With me all things are possible. Conmigo todo es posible. Today, church, Hoy, iglesia, have faith Ten fe and believe. Y cree. I'm going to ask the worship team to come back up this morning. Can we give Adam a hand this morning? Stay close, brother, okay? Just hang out right here in the front. I'm going to ask the, the prayer team, ask your sister Allie to come down for a moment. God, uh, God gave me a word uh, for her this morning. And I want to share that word with her. And then I want to have her come on, come on down, sister. Yeah, just right there. Amen. I'm going to have her pray over you guys uh, this afternoon. Because God is good, Amen. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this sister. Thank you, Jesus. The word of the Lord for you this morning, Allie, was that God is your resolution. 
your hope rests in those things and you believe those things. And there's an internal reward for that. Amen. God says, but yet there's still more to come. That your faith will rise and believe for things even greater, even greater still. We can believe for a lot. But God's put a, a faith inside of you that others do not have. You understand? It is a measure of faith the size of a mustard seed, but it's an activated faith inside of you that others struggle with. You will be able to believe for things that others cannot. Joshua was a leader, amen, of the people because the end of the mission for Moses was completed. There was a new faith that came in that moment to lead. You understand? And so the words that came from God to him that day was, do not be afraid. Sister Allie, do not be afraid. Ever. And have courage. Have courage to lead. Because God is going to take you as you take others to wonderful places to do amazing things. You are a leader, not a follower. Do it in a cloak of humility. Humble thyself that God may promote you even more so. Because the promotion doesn't come unless the humility is there. Yeah. And so as we meet with God, as you meet with God, Stay in that innocent, sweet place. Stay innocent and sweet. The ministry will beat you up. We'll try to harden your heart. The enemy waits on us to, to dive into that a little bit. That's a promotion for him, not the Father. And so through repentance, Lord, keep my heart tender. Forgive me when I've hardened my heart towards people. It's the prayer that you need to pray. It was a prayer that, that the leaders before us had to pray so God could use them. He says, consider others before yourself. Let your life be a sacrifice, truly a living sacrifice. And others will follow you because of that reason alone. You see, leadership is not just some place we can be, some title we can have, or an office we can manifest in. Leadership is the place of having compassion to serve support you. Amen. We support the things of God in your life, don't we, church? Amen. Amen. So this morning, I felt like there was a promotion thing for her, and I wanted to I wanted to pray that prayer of promotion over you. Is that okay? Amen. Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Any of you leaders want to come and, and pray with me, you're welcome to right now. Just come on up here and pray. Why don't you lay hands on this sister as well? Come on, we got time. Come on, leadership. Lucas, stand by your wife. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Seth Manu. Seth Manu, come join us, brother. with you this morning as we pray for our sister. Father, we call on heaven this morning that you would rest a mantle upon this girl. Father God, for strength, for grace, for mercy, and for great love. I ask you in the name of Jesus, Father, that you would bless her today. That a new divine appointment life has come to her 
that she will fulfill with all grace and faith that she will Father God surrender to in wholeness and that God by that surrendering Lord you would just continue to bless and pour out things into her ministry and life I pray in the name of Jesus that many young people in the city of Palestine Texas will be blessed by her ministry and her simple obedience to serve her heart, God, to serve and to love. To love the loveless, to embrace the homeless, and to give them a place, Father. I thank you, Lord God, for the resources of heaven to flow through her, her family, in Jesus' name. That love would abide in her home all the days of her life because it's you, your presence. You are love. God is love. And I thank you, Lord, for these things. Jesus' name. Bless her today with many blessings and confidence and faith in the fullness of the call of God upon her life. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the other side of that this morning was that God was going to start to grow her ministry now. Now, I want to encourage any young person that's in this church this morning that you have a very fine leader that knows intimacy with God and knows intimacy with you and will bless your life as you sit under her anointed ministry. Amen. And if you feel led as a young person, I want you to come now that she may pray over you, any one of you, because God has a word of encouragement through her for you right now. Anyone, any young person, come. Come this morning. Don't be afraid. Don't be fearful. Come. Come this morning. God loves you. He wants to bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for love and compassion, God. Thank you for love and compassion, Father. Filling this room in these lives. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. my left and this man on my right are men that have callings that are beyond the normal. There are callings of pastoral anointing upon these men. That's the reason that I've asked them to help me translate. That they would start to preach the gospel. Amen? In their language. There's an anointing on them to do such things. Amen? So as they preach, I want you to reach, reach out to them. Encourage their lives. Can I tell you that a pastor needs encouragement? Yes. So do they. Because one day they will be pastors. I declare it to you today. I declare it to you today to be so. Amen. For what God can do in a house and raising up a next generation to reach a whole other country. Amen. So pray for them that righteousness would fall upon their hearts. That they would have a contrite heart for the things of God. That they would rest in courage and confidence for the calling that's upon them. And that they would pursue it with compassion, with grace, and love. Amen. Amen. Pray for these men. Pray for the women of our church. Pray for them. As God gives them more to do, they need your prayers. I can attest. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As soon as Ali finishes praying, I'm going to have her pray over you. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, <laughs> Jesus. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, you praise the Spirit, please, baby. Yes, oh, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your church today, Lord God. We thank you as your spirit pours out upon us, Lord God, that we would start moving in the Acts 2 model that you've called us to be, Lord. Just as your Holy Spirit fell upon the, on the day of Pentecost, Lord Jesus, that it would just fall into this place, Lord, and that we continue to move in your spirit, Lord Jesus, that we don't walk by, by fear, but we walk by faith, Lord God, and that we continue to move in your presence and in your spirit and not by flesh, Lord Jesus, that, that that the awakening starts happening within us, Lord, that yes. our hearts would be tender to your voice, yes. Lord Jesus, and our minds will be transformed because when the, we accept the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, yes. it is no longer us that are living, but it's you who is living, Lord. Yes. So I pray that you start molding our hearts, Lord, start molding our minds, God, yes. to be tender to you and your voice, Lord Jesus, so that we may walk out into the places that you've called us to be because You've called the Great Commission upon us, not just to come to church and to get fat and filled with the word, but to go out yes, and to preach and to amen, spread the yes. gospel, Lord God, that church doesn't just yes, stop amen. in these walls, Lord, but that church is out there, Lord God, where your people are, Thank Lord. God. So, Father God, start breaking our hearts, Thank Lord you, Jesus. Father. Start breaking our hearts for the things that break yours. Start revealing some of the things, some of that simple Jesus. nature, Lord Jesus, that we don't even know that's rooted deep inside of us, Lord God, but God wants to transform you from the inside out so God start breaking our hearts right now Lord and I pray that we're able to lay those things down right now at your feet Lord Jesus so that you can transform us God so that we can start walking out in your presence Lord so that we can that we can just do the things that you've called us Lord Jesus to do the things that you've called of us because each and every single person in this building is called Lord God that you don't just we may not feel worthy, we not, may not feel ready, God, but that's why you are there, Lord, because you don't call the equipped, but you equip the called, Lord Jesus. And I thank you for the equipping that has been placed upon our lives, Lord, that whenever we seek you, Lord Jesus, that's when you start revealing some of our gifts, Lord Jesus. Father God, right now in this moment, I pray that you start revealing gifts to people right now, Lord God, that they would receive that anointing upon their life right now, Lord God. So if that's you, just stretch your arms up to heaven and just receive the things that the Holy Spirit has for you, Lord God, that people would start speaking in tongues, Lord Jesus, that people would start prophesying, Lord God, that they would start walking out in the Acts model when the Holy Spirit fall upon them, Lord Jesus, that they would receive the gift of the Spirit, Lord. So Father God, I just pray that your spirit just falls upon the people, Lord Jesus, because that's how we are changed and transformed, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. So here's the thing. As leadership takes its place, amen, the devil better watch out. I'm telling you, man, he better watch out for what's fixing to happen. Because this is a church, amen, full of fighting warriors for Christ. That's who you are, man, I'm telling you. And that enemy needs to watch out who he's messing with. Amen? Because God's about to raise a standard in this place. I'm telling you, it's fixing to happen. And you are on board, people. Amen? Don't ever think that your prayers don't matter. Don't ever think that. Everything you do matters. Every single decision, every single step you take matters. It matters. Amen? It matters to this place and to the things God wants to do. You are His. You are His. You don't belong to the world anymore. Amen, young folk. Amen. You are God's child. That's who you are. And today, before you leave, I want you to remind somebody of that, of how loved they are. 
by showing love to one another. Amen? Can we close that way this morning and give Jesus a resounding applause? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Amen. I think we had some church this morning. Amen. How about you? <laughs> God bless you all for coming to Living Springs today. Before you leave, greet somebody in love. Pray over them. Amen. Bless them. And to all those watching my Facebook, we say we love you very much. I pray you have an incredible week. And we'll see you Monday, tomorrow night, here at 6 o'clock for intercessory prayer. Amen. God bless you all.